gremlins are attacking Taylor, but we've got, still, he's gotten up. He's decided that everything that he's uh, managed to get out of the kill is finished. But, sorry, I'm just trying to listen to, to the radio. He's actually gone the completely opposite way from the other two males. So we've got two that had gone straight north and then he's gone this way. Now, I just wanna wait cause there's one vehicle not too far. So I just wanna sneak past them and get ahead of them so that we can actually have the view of the lion walking towards us because that's first price. Now I've got to do this in a way that's not going to disturb our beautiful king. All right. Let's go. Ooh. All right, I wonder if perhaps he's actually heard some more lions roaring in the distance. Let me just go bundu bashing and go ahead. <laughs> I feel like I'm a Formula One pilot right now. Terrified though of stumps. And then we'll be able to have a nice look of him. Okay. Sorry, Seb. I think this is as much as I can go. Oh, no antenna. I'm sorry, guys. We were trying to do something really cool, but I can't go any more forward. So if you don't mind ignoring the antenna for the next five minutes. Oh, he's striding. Look at that walk, that gait, and those paws. So he's going to walk right next to us, which is quite amazing. Hello, boy. Oh. Yeah, the sheer size of this pose is incredible in this. This is amazing. And there I hear more impala alarming. And I'm sure he's heard them too. Now, there's a possibility of more lions around here. Perhaps more males, perhaps the rest of the female. And I think everyone's quite happy to to start tracking them so we're just gonna stick around with this guy see where he leads us to because he definitely seems like he's got a mystery or that he's going somewhere so I want to find out why he's walking that way and where he is going to but I think yeah, hmm. we're just gonna have to dodge this guys again But it's fine. Luckily, it's a very nice big open area, so it's not a problem. And there's enough space for everyone, for two cars and one lion. I think it's a good ratio. Ryan, you're wondering if this is a dominant male amongst the Birmingham boys. I'm actually not too sure. Oh. You're asking, is there? Um, I would imagine that there is. Normally the one with the biggest mane that tends to be the dominant one, but I'm not too sure if, the, if there is a set hierarchy already amongst the Birmingham boys. So if any of our long-standing viewers know, I would be more than happy to know. Um, so you can just let us know using the hashtag Safari Live. I don't know if maybe Mfumo being the authority is the most dominant one. Could be the case. But uh, we haven't, I've only been able to see them a handful of times, so I'm actually super happy that this is happening. I think this is only my third sighting of the Birmingham boys, or a Birmingham boy in the last two months. Walking with lions, how is that for a morning stroll? Now, these guys are gonna come this way. I think let's just wait until he goes by because then the other guys are parked on the road. Look at that power striding somewhere. Must be quite a feeling being such a fearsome male lion. Ah. 
Mike, you're asking if I know how old this lion is. Well, judging by his condition and the fact that he seems to be in the prime of his life, I'm going to put his age around six, seven years of age, between five and seven. It's normally when lions are looking their best and the males become quite dominant and they're able to hold a pride and many females. And I think these guys actually split their time among three different prides of lions. Where are you going, boy? Whew. Negan, you say this looks like a man on a mission. I fully agree with you. He's definitely on a mission. I'm not too sure where, where he's going. So I thought maybe he would have carried on following his brothers but I think he knows that there's something else around here because he keep look at look at that stand he is looking tall he's looking high there's something that and he's so alert so uh, there's got to be something else here where what are you looking at Where are you going? Hang on. Alright, sorry. Uh, guys, there's a lot of radio activity going on. And I can't really hear a lot and I don't really want to turn the radio off. Just because I know there might be other people interested in coming and having a look at the lion. A wildebeest. Okay, maybe he's hungry because he was busy. He's here, he's just, um, Bogan would seems to be a wildebeest. Alright. There is a wildebeest there, and he's not too far from this lion, so who knows, maybe he's still hungry. I'm with Taylor, I'm with the one Madora that's on Philemon's cut line at the moment, just heading slightly east. Okay, Gabby, I would say the best way, try Galago shortcut uh, and Galago pan. I'm not too sure what's going on. The radio, guys, I'm sorry, this is getting a bit confusing because people won't stop talking on the radio. So I'm actually just going to go slightly forward and follow this lion. Lots of... is he stalking though? I can't see him now. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I don't wanna... He is... I know, I know you don't have a visual, but he's walking towards all the... Alright, I think he's given up now. Okay, sorry, I don't want to, to give the lion an unfair advantage over all the other creatures. And there are lots of impala and wildebeest around here, so for a moment there it seemed like he wanted to go for one. So I didn't want to carry on moving and then... Oh! Oh! There's another lion! <laughs> Alright! Well, we've got two! This is actually the first one we saw this morning, the one that we were trying to follow. <gasps> and in the golden light. How is that? Alright! Following lions, we go. Ah, hello, guys. Very happy you're here. All right, lots of impala around this area that are now starting to panic and scatter and run everywhere. 
because of course there are two male lions around here that are looking somewhat hungry or at least not too full and I can just see the dust in the distance oh, hello boys now how am I going to follow you around here I care not too bad around here perfect Lots of wildebeest around here, but clearly they're not interested in the wildebeest. They're interested in something else. Ah, oh, look at that brotherly love. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it is a bit bumpy around here. I'm going to try and follow through the most open patch that I can find. They are... We still have a visual of them. I'm just trying to get onto an area where we can actually stop and see where they go. Funny enough, I'm actually driving on the animal path. They are not walking on the animal path. <laughs> I think they're gonna come out in front of us. There they go. Hello, guys. Seb, sorry. So I feel like whenever I'm with you, we get into this super crazy off-roading missions. <laughs> we get the best sightings, you say. <laughs> I'm not complaining about this morning. <laughs> Hello, boys. Once more. So interesting. So as we've seen this morning, the one already knows where he wants to go and then the other one I think he's been a bit indecisive. So he's been coming back and forth. He went on a mission, perhaps he went all the way to Galago Pant in front of Galago Lodge to have a drink. And uh, once he was done with that, then he's come back onto his brother now. So I wouldn't be surprised that there's actually the third lion somewhere behind us, probably coming to try and meet up with the brothers. I suppose this is only fair. They were on quarantine, so now we have to do a bit more off-roading. <laughs> going to try once more to go around us but let's go to Taylor while we try to relocate on those brothers. <laughs> <laughs> 